Hey guys, it's Jessie V, and it is also Conspiracy Theory Week! Did that sound good? So, I know you probably saw the title of this video and thought, Really, Jessie? Barney? Barney? I haven't seen Barney since I was like three. I know, I know it's a little bit of a weird topic to be talking about, but surprisingly, I found a lot of very disturbing Barney conspiracy theories, and I don't know about you guys, but I did watch this show quite a lot when I was a kid. I literally can hear this theme song going on in my head right now, and not the I Love You song, the one that's like, Barney is a dinosaur from your imagination. You know that one? Like, that's literally playing on a loop in my head. I swear I'm not insane. But I also thought this would be interesting to do because I know, like, Barney is loved and hated by people around the world. Like, 50% of people love him. 50% of people are terrified of him. And, um, yes, he does look pretty scary. He's tall. He has this massive mouth. And his teeth are, like, just this band across his lips. It's very strange. Like, if this guy walked into to my house, I'd probably like be so scared and like, what do people do when they're afraid? I know Winnie like pees all over the ground when she's scared. <laughs> I don't think I would necessarily pee all over the ground if I saw Barney, but I would be close. It would be close. Anyways though, we're gonna go through some of these conspiracy theories and we're gonna see what you guys think. We're gonna start with one that is definitely very out there and when I saw this, I was like, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. So it's that Barney is based on a 1930s serial killer. So a number of rumors have circulated about the purple dinosaur character in the children's television show Barney and Friends since the program first aired in 1992. So Barney and Friends started two years before I was born. In August 2016 there was this very disturbing rumor that was going around and it was that Barney was inspired by a serial kidnapper and killer from the 1930s. The legend is set back to the 1930s when a man named Barney would dress up every day in a dinosaur costume and then hide himself at the park. He would then lure little kids who seemed fascinated by his outfit and would then kidnap them. He would try to force the kids to be happy all day long and if any of them fought back or were sad, he would pretty much eat them, destroy them. You know where I'm going with that? But if you actually search this rumor online, there is no historical evidence of any serial killer that did this type of thing in the 1930s. So it is probably just a crazy rumor that someone online made up. The real reason Barney was made into a show is because Cheryl Leach, a former inner city elementary school teacher and marketing executive, recognized a void in the market for video programming directed at preschoolers. And there's a quote from her here that says, my idea was that generally preschoolers go to sleep with a snuggly like teddy bear and I thought wouldn't it be neat if the thing I love so much would come to life and interact with me. So this show was not based on a 1930 serial killer but instead it was created because there wasn't a lot of preschool programming around at the time. There was not a lot of TV shows that kids that age could watch. And because a lot of people know that kids do go to bed with some sort of stuffed animal that's why they decided to make this little dinosaur plushie sort of become Barney and come to life, you know what I mean? It's like every kid's dream, even though to me that's like a, every kid's nightmare. The next theory is that Barney secretly swears in his songs. So if you look online and on YouTube, you will find that there are many people who have taken clips from the show and are claiming they caught Barney quickly swearing or like mumbling a swear word under his breath. And I watched a bunch of these videos where people are claiming he's war and honestly I can't hear it like they'll slow it down and like make it louder and it just sounds like Barney is just sort of mumbling and not really saying a word at all so I think people are really stretching on this one I personally don't think they would air an episode where Barney was like using curse words considering it is a preschool show I also think it's possible that the people who put these online sort of edited the videos to make it sound like he did but he actually didn't I mean there's so much technology out there now days that anyone could like fake something in a video. The next theory is so so true and I did notice this for many years and it is that preteens were forced to act like toddlers. So we all know Barney was a show made to entertain toddlers and toddlers are kids that are I believe to be two to four years old. Correct me if I'm wrong but I believe that's sort of the age range and it's really hard for directors to work with kids that young to be in a show so they had to hire people that were 
older. If you ever watch the show, you'll notice that most of the kids look to be about 11 or 12, but they're playing games and speaking in ways that make them seem like they are about six or seven. People have said that it's a very strange thing to watch because they aren't acting age appropriate. But the toddlers who watch the show don't really care. They don't really see anything that's wrong. But that is why so many older children found Barney so strange because they see kids their age acting little and silly and it just became unrealistic to them. I do get that it's easier for a director to work with a 12 year old. The next conspiracy is really freaky to me and when I first read this I just like didn't even know what to think and that is that there is a lost episode of Barney. So there's a single father who wrote a very disturbing article online. He said he's the father of two three-year-old boys and that their favorite show to watch is Barney and Friends which is totally normal for their age group. He said he was looking at the TV guide and saw that it said there was a lost episode of the show that was going to be aired at 7 p.m. that night. So naturally he asked his kids if they wanted to see it and they said yes. So when the time came around they all sat down on the couch ready to watch it and as usual the theme song, the Barney theme song started playing but there was something very unusual about it because this father and kids had heard that Barney theme song over and over again but this time the father said the song almost sounded like it was being whispered instead of sung but the father just sort of shrugged it off at first. <clears throat> the episode started as it usually did the kids holding the Barney doll that suddenly comes to life but when Barney started talking he sounded slightly weird. It sounded like two people were talking at once so there was his normal voice and there was one that was deeper and scarier and suddenly he said hi kids today I'm going to teach you about death. One of the kids asked Barney but what is death? And then Barney chuckled and said this is. With his face suddenly turning angry, his teeth growing long, and he eats the child. He then proceeds to chase the other children around, eating them, until the episode was over. To end it, he sang the I Love You song as if nothing had happened. I obviously don't believe this one, really. I think it sounds more like a creepypasta, uh, but it was definitely disturbing to think about, and I know with a lot of shows, there are claims to be, like, lost episodes where the characters in the show act very abnormal and do scary things. So if there actually is a lost episode of Barney that's like this, I never want to see it. No, thank you. No, thank you. And then the last theory, which really resonates with me, is kids had nightmares after seeing the bear in Barney's campfire sing-along. So I remember as a child, um, I used to watch this movie all of the time. It's like where Barney and friends go camping. And I remember as a kid being afraid of this bear. And it could be the fact that he just sort of appears out of the darkness of the woods. He comes out of this sort of like dark cave. And there's a clip of it on YouTube which I'll show you guys in a second. Watching it as an adult I don't really see what's wrong with it but for some reason there's tons and tons of people all over the internet who claimed that this bear gave them nightmares as a child. They don't know why. I don't even know why because it happened to me too. But maybe you guys can watch it and sort of tell me what's wrong with him and what would make him disturb children so much. So we're gonna watch this clip on YouTube. Um, watch at your own risk. Hopefully this doesn't actually give you nightmares because I would feel really bad. It's actually scary to me that this person's just like recording their uh, TV. Maybe. Oh, look at Barney. He's like so freaky. Let's check it out. Oh wait. First, you'll need your Barney beamers. These kids are so brave. They're just like, let's go in the cave and find the bear. It's fine. Oh, we got flashlights. Hey, now we're ready. That's right. And that echo. Hello. Hello. Oh, I hated this scene as a kid. Yodeling. <laughs> Barney's just yodeling. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Oh, because they start hearing like the laughter of the bear. <laughs> run, children, run for your lives. Okay, so this is where the bear comes out, and I don't see anything wrong with him. But kids just did not like him. 
<sighs> Spring comes earlier every year. That creepy music. <laughs> I don't like that music. Yeah, because I mean, the bear seems like harmless and innocent, but he creeped up in children's dreams. I don't know. Anyways, though, that is all of the Barney conspiracy theories that we're going to talk about today. As usual, comment down below the ones you kind of believe and which ones you think are totally out there. I feel like I need to burp. I need someone to pat me on the back like a baby. <laughs> but yeah, there's still a few more days of me doing these conspiracy theory videos. I really hope you guys are enjoying them. Definitely let me know if you are or if you aren't. I hope you are because I find this stuff just fascinating. And it might slightly be ruining people's childhoods, but you know, it's fine. Anyways, though, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!